EIN is proud to present Caribbean Lifestyle TV is brought to you by This week a spotlight as we shine it on a man who sings <laughs> and brings rhythm to us as a people. We're talking about Mr. Jerry Harris. Caribbean Lifestyle TV shine the spotlight on Mr. Jerry Harris. Welcome, sir. Yeah, it was great to be here, you know. Well, hold on, man. Start us off <laughs> with the a cappella, man. Give me a hit. Well, it's so good to be here today. Hey. All right. That's <laughs> right. No, don't come talk to me. He's so good to be here. Sing. Yeah, good, to, man. good to see you, man. Good to see you, too, man. You know I mean? I've been in this business for so long, up and down over the globe. Just keep doing the reggae music mm -hmm. and just putting committed out the good words, committed to it, you know. Don't shortchange it. The right production, the what right kind what of music. What drives you? What causes what, you to be so committed? To well, it? what drives me, because I started in Jamaica, mm -hmm. and that just boosts my motivation to just keep doing the right kind of reggae music, not shortchange, mm -hmm. you know? You want, you know, words, you won't become commercialized, and as I call it, no, sell out. Well, I'm not in the sellout thing because I gotta be true to my culture, you okay. know what I mean? So I'm not gonna go up there and just depend on the computer to help me out, you know? But, but Jerry, but Jer, you know, you, you say that and I, re and I respect that, but you know, the, the economics of it though has caused many people to, I would say, secretively sell off. Well, right? you, well, you see what really happened, you know, I value my culture more than the money thing, you know what I mean? Because you see the money thing now we make is just take a different direction. You know, but right now, if I build my music, I want to know that it's true to my culture and true to the people I'm presenting it to. And true Not, to yourself. And true to myself. Because right. at the end of the day, you know, I have to show my kids what I did with my time in this world. And it's about so, legacy, isn't it? <laughs> legacy, man, you know. You have, it, you, have, you have a new CD out called Mama Root. Tell us about that. Well, this CD is dedicated to my mother. My mother, she's not passed away or anything. She lives in Jamaica right now. She lost her sight. So, you know, I said, let me do something for my mother before she passed away. I'm not going to wait until she passed away that I try to do something because she would never know about it. Mm -hmm. So this CD is dedicated to my mother. I was, I was track 10 on the CD called Mama. And it's all about the life that my mother lived in Jamaica, the way she was struggling with us and raising us, mm -hmm. you know, into the hard times. Mm -hmm. So this song is dedicated to my mother just to show appreciation for all the hard work that she did. You Let know? me ask this, are, are you doing any tours? Yes, yeah. I've been doing little shows here and there, you know, but more like promotional yes. thing. I went to England uh, about three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. I went to Japan in July. And How was yeah, that? It was great, you know, because everybody, because that's, that's where my fan base is, Japan. Mm. So I spent all my time in Japan just promoting myself. Throughout the whole 90s, I, st I went to Japan the first time in 1985. And from there on, God blessed me that I could go every Japanese. year after that. So you know any Japanese? Yeah. So go on. Konnichiwa. Now what the Kong heck? Bang wa. Now what the heck did you just well, say? Well, I just said, how are you? Okay, you know? okay. You know, Because you, you know we're going, man. <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah. So, you know, I know a lot of Japanese language. And, you know, basically mm -hmm. what it is is that I true to the Japanese as well because, you know, they show me a lot of They're love. They're quite receptive to your type exactly, of music Exactly, you know, because it's about showing love in your music, you know, not preaching something that's going to create any violence or create any kind of, like, you know, war or anything. Mm -hmm. So it's all about singing about the environment, singing about love, mm -hmm. singing about people doing the great things in life. Mm -hmm. And that's what my music is all about, to tell, motivate tell, a lot of people. Where, where do you get your motivation from? What, what, what motivates you to do this? Well, you see, my motivation, like I said, you know, when I started out, I didn't know anything about guitar or anything. I used to be, like, kind of watching like the in crowd band like those mm. generation gap band back in the day so it's like those band coming in from kingston because i grew up in portland port antonio you know i i got into the band in port antonio and then i was with 
Junior Mervin in the in the band. Junior Mervin sang Police and Thief. Mm -hmm. So he motivated me a lot too. And then the other musicians, I was like glad to even hold a guitar. So after that, I just start getting used to hanging around the band and watching the stage and see people performing. I just want to just get there, man, just do my thing. Yeah, just, yeah. You know, so all that motivation just start build up and build up. But at the first beginning, I was a little bit shy about singing in the mic. So I said, sing no Jerry, man, sing no. <laughs> you know? Let me ask you, when you look at today, when you look at the artist today, yeah. which artist stands out for you? Well, you know, I'm going to tell you the truth like third world mm -hmm. you know because we talk about music arrangements mm -hmm. talk about quality music mm -hmm. bob marley mm -hmm. you know we can't leave mm -hmm. bob marley out mm -hmm. you know we talk about like freddie mcgregor like uh, the veterans like john old you know mm -hmm. you talk about ken Boot, all those people i i, I grew up with the vintage people jackie me too all them people I, I, you know, I'm, I'm around these people, traveling them back and forth to Japan and doing a lot with these artists. Alton Ellis, the great Alton Ellis, you know. So it's a lot of motivation. American artists, they also influence me, you know, like Otis Redding, mm -hmm. Stevie Wonder, you know, different people, you know what I mean, in the music business. Right. So w what's next for Jerry now, as we wrap up? What's well, next just keep promoting my label, Listen Up Record, and promoting myself and finding artists to promote. You know, as far as Elvis D, I helped him out with his his album, as far as putting on my label called Perfect Vibes, mm -hmm. and just keep promoting myself and building up my label and working with other young artists coming up. Tell me, tell, where, where can we get this the CD? Well, the CD on cdbaby.com. You could just go there and check out Jerry Harris' album. This is not the only album I have. I have several albums on my label. Great. And uh, check me out on myspace.com slash Reggae. And you could read up about me and find out what I'm doing, you know? You heard of the man yeah. said, check him out. We shone the spotlight yes, this sir. week on a man called Jerry Harris. And we wish him well in his music. We want to say thank you very much, sir, and good luck. Enough love, man. Peace. Peace, people. Caravan Lifestyle mm -hmm. TV. Shine the spotlight on Mr. Jerry.
inside and outside You gave me so much love to last For a lifetime You're the reason why my life's so special You make my life so clear and so positive I'm so grateful To have you in my life I can't go to sleep every night Without you I can't live my life every day Without you I can't go to sleep every night Without you I can't live my life every day Without you I can't go to sleep every night Without you I can't live my life every day